Hello my YouTube friends, time for today's what's in the pocket. Carrying in the GEC leather slip, uh, my case trapper. This one is done in, uh, I think it's called Honey Smooth Curly Oak. And it's just a typical case uh, trapper, typical, typical trapper pattern. Uh, I've been getting lucky with case, they can be hit and miss on the fit and finish, but uh, no major gapping, everything's sitting uh, flush and no issues with it. But it's just a typical trapper, nothing new there. Standard old patterns, those scales that uh, make this one special. Hope the lighting's coming out okay on that. Um, kind of hard for me to see it. But anyways, there you go, there's that one. And the main carry is the Monterey Bay Knives Slayback, designed by Ray Laconico. Um, Ray Laconico is one of my favorite designers. I, I love his work. He does a lot of very simple um, designs, but he's one of the few that can take a, a very simple design and make it look just gorgeous. <laughs> this one's uh, full titanium. It's only a three inch blade uh, flipper, and actually it's a liner lock instead of a frame lock, so it's got nested liners. I like that because uh, the frame lock, a lot of times, if you put any pressure on that, it interferes with the opening. But this one is, uh, the blade is ZDP 189 San Mai. I don't know if that's showing up, the San Mai line there, but uh, it's got a, a core of ZDP 189, which is uh, a very, very uh, good um, uh, edge retention steel, sorry. Uh, getting old here, got CRS syndrome going on here today. Um, got a nice Warncliffe blade. This is great for doing any kind of utility cuts. Um, just an outstanding little knife. I'm really enjoying this one. Great action for such a small blade. You know, usually a lot of times a small blade like this isn't going to drop shut real good, but this one's got very smooth, silky action. The Monterey Bay Knives does a really good job on uh, their knives most of the time. Um... I haven't heard too many complaints out of uh, anybody about their knives. But there you go. If you want to see a more detailed review on this or any knife I show in my What's in the Pocket series, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get it done for you. I did get a uh, request for a review on the Kershaw Bare Knuckle. I had uh, one of my subscribers ask for a review on it, so that'll be coming up here shortly. Um, I aim to please. You know, this channel is... Uh, not so much about me as it is about all of us uh, in this community. So, uh, you know, this kind of lets me uh, skip over the knives real quick that people aren't overly interested in and concentrate more on the ones that uh, people want to know more about. So, any knife I show at any time in any of my videos, if you would like to see an in-depth review on that knife, let me know and I'll do my best to... Uh, to do that for you. That's about all I got for you today. Let's not forget about the Arvets. 22 a day committing suicide. That's uh, that's really a very sad number. Just trying to bring a bring awareness to it. Vets, you have a place here. We love you, and uh, you know, get some help if you need it, please. Uh, taking your own life is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. It's just there's got to be a better a better solution. That's all I got for you today. I hope everybody's enjoying their Labor Day weekend. And until the next one, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you.